I get really, really excited about telling uh, stories in the future and the further out, the better for me. Um, like, what will life be like 100 years from now or 500 generations from now? How do we begin to even imagine that? And will technology be a liquid? Could we think about technology being a maybe? Not something that's on or off or hard or soft, but something that is like a gas or a vapor or a kind of a, a particle or field around our body. And this leans itself towards this idea of the fourth revolution, these fusions of technology. So this starts to beg the question, does the body become the technology if we eat it? What does it do once it gets inside of our body? Um, and could we program technology to manipulate our immune system and produce an enhanced body odour, for example? So this was the, the questions I was asking myself when I collaborated with a synthetic biologist and we created the Swallowable Perfume, which is a cosmetic pill that works from the inside out. Um, it enables your skin to sweat a biologically enhanced fragrance specific to you and basically turns your body into the perfume bottle, the atomizer. <laughs> Swallowable perfume, a new cycle of evolution. So again, possibly many people would think it's an absurd idea. It kind of hit the, the news and ran and was really received very willingly um, by a public. Um, I felt like a fraud because I was being called a researcher by the press and I was an artist who had come up with an idea um, with a, a, a synthetic biologist. But what's interesting is that this technology could totally disrupt the beauty market. Um, more interestingly, it could change human instinct. It may change the way that we seek sexual partners and would we revert back to being more primal and more th the kind of animal side of us. And if this sort of technology is possible, then what greater things than this could exist?